Good morning from El Capitan Reservoir. It's a beautiful day. Haven't been here in months. I've heard the fishing is good. Let's make it happen. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Just got four pound test on. Got a new bait I'm trying. My friend Ryan gave me the wakasagi. Look at the color on that. It's only a second cast on that bait. Nice. Thanks, Ryan. Small one. Hopefully they'll get bigger. I didn't even see that one hit. I must have slurped it. This one feels a little better than the last one. Just going slow. Like I said, got four pound test. Coming up, oh, that is a better fish. Not ready. <laughs> it's so much fun. Just getting ready to leave because I thought these were all small fish. Not quite ready yet. There we go. That's a better fish. There we go. Around three pounds. Nice. Maybe I will stay a little bit longer here. <laughs> Until Ryan told me about these, I wasn't really familiar with them. That's the Wakasagi bait. It's just like a little bait fish imitation. more of these. It took me it took me a minute to realize that little orange top shows you where the bait is, like a little bobber. <laughs> there we go. Just heading across. 
across the lake. Saw a boil. seconds. Saw the boil, threw on it, blam. Missed the first time, hit it the second time. It was awesome. Oh, there. Missed. it again. Oh yeah, right there. Nice. Missed it like four times. Feels a little bit better than the last one. Another chunker, little one. You can see fish busting all over the lake. Fish busting over here, fish busting over there, fish busting over there. I'm literally just heading from one spot to another because I wanted to go across the lake and fish a rock pile. If I see busting fish, why wouldn't I stop, right? Especially if they're biting. But I'm not going to go chasing. Not when they're just here or there or there. But if there's a boil, I'll cast on it. Yeah, I'm just using super light line, ultra light rod, four pound test. Not worried about, you know, hooking the bottom or getting snagged on something because it's 85 feet deep right here. You can see them busting right out here. It's not too far. Just think, it's like fishing by braille. Oh. Jig fishing. It's all about the sensitivity and feeling, and then I feel this dump, dump, dump. All right. First jig fish of the day. And there was bait busting around when I was pulling in the, the jig. Nice, that's awesome. Super, super great. <coughs> Chunky, pound and a half. Pound and three quarters, let's say. 1.88, pretty close. Pound and three quarters. Wave to the camera. I'm using a green pumpkin and pumpkin bitsy bug today. So what I was thinking as that fish hit was jig fishing is kind of like fishing by feel. Um, different than the sight fishing where you're feeling the bottom, you're feeling the bait. A little bit different even than plastic worm fishing. This has a little bit bigger profile, so you're kind of dragging it. 
you can feel if there's structure, you can feel if there's weeds, you can feel if it's a fish. And don't get me wrong, I love sight fishing. Sight fishing is super exciting. A lot of that was what we were doing in that trip to Montana. If you haven't checked out those videos, it was a super fun trip. I'm having such a great time out here. Caught a bunch of fish already. Um, it's getting hot. I want a beer. From Brewery X, we've got wild nights. Hot, crazy days. Um, yeah, you know that reference? Almost looks like we have Knight Rider on the front there. It's a West Coast IPA 7% retro series. Brewery X is out of Anaheim. And I love their stuff. It smells good. Oh, man. Bitter. Piney citrus, a little bit of grass. Not much malt on there. That is really good if you like a West Coast. Check out the wild nights. We've got some hot, crazy days here. Mm. Yum. Got that at the uh, local bottle shop. Ready for another fish now. This is just gorgeous out here. So gorgeous. There's another. That's a bigger model. Nice one. Yes. Just under three. All right. Let's get a wave. Can we get a wave? All right. Yes. Such a fun day out here. Top water, got jigs, my favorite stuff. I did that by instinct. I guess we'll pull one uphill. I've been pulling them parallel to the shore or pulling them downhill for the jigs, but I haven't really pulled anything uphill, so let's see. So yeah, I got one pulling the jig parallel and one pulling the jig downhill. Sometimes that'll make a difference. Yum, this beer is so good. I think we're all gonna go for a ride and suck my wake. You know what guys? I've had an amazing morning out here. Just came out for a few hours, had a quick beverage, and enjoyed being out here so much go meet Mr. Chris Arms, the man behind the music, and the graphics, by the way. If you need a graphic artist, totally check him out, and I'll, I'll put a link for him. Well, he's already got a link. Um, but he does the graphics for the logo, the graphics for a ton of different things. Check him out. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share it with a friend. See you on the water. Cheers.